Alright, just getting to the launch here. Getting ready to start this, uh, this adventure. Mission seems like a pretty nice day right now. Just made it to my site and it's Stormageddon here. We've got thunder lightning right above me. I made it just in time, just enough time to cover my wood up and uh, get this tarp set up so I can stay dry until. Oh, shit! But yeah, it's uh. now so I'm glad I left early because otherwise it would have been arriving right at this time. Here I got the, uh, got the tarp set up there and everything, all my stuff underneath it but and then that's rest on the other side of the tarp is the end of the island so this is this is probably the smallest island I've camped on but pretty good size so I'll get this tarp set up. I'll probably set my tent up underneath this tarp and I might set up another tarp as like a social area I guess but uh, yeah, everything's staying dry and uh, got her up just in time. So, made it to the site, but there's a massive thunderstorm that just rolled through here. So, uh, I'm just chilling under the tarp here. I was able to get to shore, and it was a nice sunny day, a little windy. But as soon as I got here, all of a sudden I heard the thunder in the distance. Uh, so, I started quickly unpacking everything, uh, set up this tarp, throw all my gear under it, uh, which you can see here. So, all my stuff's there. So, I didn't even have a chance to set up my tent turn with them, but I got uh, uh, my firewood all covered up. Uh, all my gear here most of it's in waterproof bags anyhow but uh yeah so for the time being i'm just gonna be chilling out here but it's pretty cool this the storm went like right over this little island i'm on so there was uh some intense moments there like the ground was shaking and uh, it was, it was all, oh lightning looked pretty close there Sounds like it's right above me. Like the ground literally shakes when that uh, when that thunder goes. So I'm in for this for a little bit. Hopefully, uh, I check the forecast before I left. Look like about an hour or two hours of storms and rain watch. So hopefully it'll wrap up. I can have some lunch and uh, do a bit of fishing. But I might be uh, stuck on the island here uh, for today. But this is day one of four. So we'll get out of here. I'm on Govan Lake. Uh, it took about 45 minutes from the launch to get here and uh, this is uh, the big final hurrah for summer for me. So it's uh, August 29th today. I return on September 4th. So four day trip. Never camped on this lake before. Briefly fished here um, on a day trip last year. Caught some pike. So we'll see what happens. But this is a nice little site I got. Thought I'd give like a tour of the, uh, of the site. All right. So here's the far I guess north tip of the island here so this is where it kind of gets on this is a really small this is the smallest island I've camped on a few other islands and things like that around here but here's the main part it's pretty narrow this is site six at Govan Lake and you got your fire pit area here set up a little kind of seating area uh, work 
our way back. Got a couple piles of wood. This is wood that I kind of scavenged uh, from nearby shore, and this is uh, wood I brought from home that I piled up there. A little kitchen area set up. You see over here, I got my tent. Got it all tarped up too, so don't need to worry too much about rain. There's a little area if I want to sit down, I can sit down underneath here. And then this is basically it. So there's the far end of the island, and then over here is where I have my uh, kayak set up. But it's pretty, uh, pretty nice little spot. It wasn't difficult to get to. Um, about a two-hour drive from Ottawa to get to Govan Lake, and like I said, maybe 45 minutes to uh, to uh, paddle over. A little bit of turkey burgers here. Still looks like it might rain or storm here, so rather than start the fire and cook this on the fire, I'm just gonna do it over the butane for now, and got another one for later that I'll probably cook on the campfire. Oh, barely hooked too. He might get off. Oh, I almost jumped in the net. He's a feisty one. Not very big, but feisty. Oh, there we go. Right on. Little bass. He's maybe two pounds. Put him back for another day. There he goes. Bass here. Always wants to jump. This one's fighting real good. Here he comes. Oh, it's a big one. This is a monster bass. Yeah. Oh, he wants to fight. He's got some fighting. He ain't gonna fool me. Oh yeah, that is a big small man. This is a monster. Plus, this might be a five. There we go, wow. Look at the size of this thing. That's a big piece of this one. Has to go close to five. Well, look at the size of that. He's four and a bit for sure. Take a photo of him. Big, big bass. All right, buddy, let's get you back in there. You get bigger. Jump. Come on, if you're gonna jump, jump. Swing pretty good. Oh, yeah. Big head tricks there. Oh, another big bass. Fuck. Stand down, he had me cool. Wow, this one's this one's ooh, this could be close to four as well. Jeez. It's like the day of big bass here. Alright. That that one's he's probably about three on the dot there. That's a nice bass. 
Ooh, the big ones are biting today on uh, Govan Lake. Oh, another one! Look at him jump! Jesus! Oh, here he comes, here he comes! He's gonna jump again! Oh man, these guys are fighting hard! Oh yeah, look at the drag! Two oh, another massive one! Jesus! Do they make any of them? They're getting smaller than three pounds on this lake! Jeez! This thing's huge! Oh my god! Buddy. Resistance is big out. Oh my god. This is just big bass after big bass. Oh, look at they're nice and fat too. Like these are some beauty smallness. Look at that. He's got he's girthy. He's got a belly on him. This is good. Three and a bit, maybe four. All right, you go there, big boy. All right, so that was some phenomenal smallmouth bass fishing here on day one on Govan Lake. And I only got to go out for a little bit because we had two thunderstorms within the first three hours I was here. Um, and then uh, I fished for a half hour and then it started raining. So I had to come in and uh, so the rain has finally stopped here. So I decided it's, you know, about eight o'clock time for dinner. Time to kind of take it easy for the night. Uh, it was a long day of traveling. So hopefully we'll uh, get more fishing in tomorrow. But that was pretty good. I caught, you know, five bass there within 30 minutes and three of them were over three pounds. And, but uh, right now it's time for some uh, turkey burgers. All right, so waking up here, day two. Uh, big surprise, last night around one o'clock, another thunderstorm. So that was three thunderstorms uh, within my first, not even 12 hours arriving here, but things are looking pretty good today. Getting up, a little bit overcast, but not much wind and stuff. So I'm gonna make my breakfast and then uh, Maybe get a bit of fishing in. We'll see hey, how it goes. First morning here, it's a bit overcast, a little bit windy, a little bit cool. It's probably, you know, 15 degrees or so. Just having some breakfast here. Got some oatmeal on the go. Got my coffee ready here. So, uh, gonna get this into me and uh, see how things go for a uh, little fishing expedition. Time for lunch. Uh, today's lunch will be chicken fried rice sidekick so these sidekicks are great for backpacking there's a, a few varieties of them that only need water so you don't need to bring milk or anything with you just boil it with water and they actually taste pretty good um, you can add extra stuff to them really just turn the gas on push the button she starts right away first try every time boil this on here so this takes uh, two cups of water that's all you need uh, once it gets boiling you just throw on your uh, rice you know it doesn't take too long and uh Definitely enough. This is good for like, you know two people lunch. So um, probably eat uh, most of it because I'm hungry. And, uh, we'll get out of here. But you know it's, it's raining again. It's been raining on and off pretty much since I've gotten here, uh, which isn't too bad. There's still been time to get out to do a little bit of uh, fishing. And uh, the forecast for this afternoon apparently is going to clear up a bit. So hopefully we'll get that late afternoon uh, and maybe the evening fishing too, and uh, try to catch more monsters like we did last night. Everything cool down, time to eat. This is great. Also, it's just about stopped raining. It's just drizzling a little bit. I can see sun in the distance from the direction the clouds are coming in. So that tells me that hopefully this rain will let up. Um, maybe I'll get a couple hours of afternoon fishing in, um, come back for dinner, and then hopefully do an evening fish from say 6.30 to 8. And then time for the fire and to cook my uh, Alabama seasoned chicken, which will be a first for me, and I look forward to that. But for now, the uh, 
Sidekick's uh, chicken fried rice is uh, keeping me going. First fish from the shore of the island here. Nice small mouth taking me deep into the weeds. This one's fighting good. First fish a day two. And then jump again, buddy. Oh, here he comes. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Got some nice bass here at Govan Lake. Oh, off he goes. Well, that was all right. All right, day two. Uh, it's been an hour after lunch. Uh, it's still raining. I did a little bit of shore casting. Caught uh, one smallmouth that got off right at shore and uh, had a few hits, but that was about it. Uh, but now it started just pouring rain again, so there doesn't seem to be any end in sight. So I think today is going to pretty much be a hunkering down underneath the tarp kind of day. Uh, hopefully this afternoon or this evening it lightens up a bit so I get some fishing going on and also be able to start a fire to eat my dinner. Moon and baby here. Other side of this bay. Alright, fish on. Sure we got here. There's my other small mouth. Oh, it's a large man. Yeah, he's giving us some jumps. Add that to the species list. Chunky little large man. Chunky little RG there, eh? Not bad at all. For you, buddy, I'm sure you're anxious to get back in there. Here he goes. Two seconds. Oh, we got a jumper. Oh, yeah, another nice large man. Found a large man. Jump again. He's looking like it. He's looking like it. Oh, yeah. Put up a good fight. He doesn't know where he wants to go. Just tie yourself out there. Size fishing. Oh, yeah, that is a nice large there. And some good size ones here. It's probably like two and a bit, two and a half. Back you go, my friend. Thanks for the fight. Another nice one here. First cast in the new spot. Look at a nice small move. In the variety box here. Oh yeah, definitely a good size one. three pounds, he's girthy. Wow, a massive tree just fell in the forest behind me. Sounds like a shotgun going off. All right, buddy, you're a good size. 
Put you back where you came from. Let's get a little splash here, buddy. Boom. All right, dinner number two. I got some uh, Alabama chicken breast uh, grilling here with some asparagus and some garlic mashed potatoes. Uh, I pre-packed those, so looking forward to this meal. Those turkey burgers were great last night, but uh, yeah, this will be well. Turned out to be a nice evening despite uh, raining basically all day from, I'd say it started at 11, probably wrapped up around 5.30, so I was able to do a little bit of fishing, caught a few more bass, and uh, just kind of in for the evening and chillaxing. All right, so our meal's coming along here. That Alabama chicken looks excellent. All right, so it's the morning of day three here. Uh, woke up to uh, a nice sunny morning and uh, looks like it's gonna be a warm one today. I can kind of feel some heat coming on, although I'm still wearing my toque in that. It's you know, about 7 a.m. here. Uh, I just had my oatmeal, having some coffee, and my plan is to, uh, once I'm done this, go out and do a little bit of fishing, uh, you know, around the island. Fish on, this feels big too. What do we got here? Oh, it's a nice pike. Getting into the multi species here. The one fish I really don't look forward to getting in the boat here, but gotta do what I gotta do, eh? are biting today. The pike are biting today. The morning pike bite is on. Alright, don't be making a big deal here, buddy. There we go. That's a nice, uh, a nice Coven Lake pike. The pike bite's on this morning. For sure. He's got three and a bit. All right, there you go, bud. Give me a good splash. There he goes. Oh, bass. Oh, a couple bass there. A large mouth with small mouth swimming with him. That's funny. Good morning so far. A few pike, a few bass. Can't beat it. Alright, another bass. Tail dancer's been hot this morning. Got some nice bass, some nice pike. Ooh, he's lively. Rapala tail dancer, uh, so that was uh, pretty good because I just picked one up at Canadian Tire the other day, and it's already paid off. So uh, for lunch today we have another sidekick just because they're quick and easy. This is a riced one. This is harvest chicken. So we're gonna get this here going here. I'll just fire this uh, bad boy right up. Well, of course I thought the weather gods would bless me with one day here without any rain, but it looks like we got a banger of a thunderstorm moving in. Um, I just started lunch five minutes ago. It was a perfectly sunny day, but now I can, uh, I can hear thunder. The wind's really picked up and it's getting really dark here. So 
Let's hope it's not a direct hit this time, but uh, hopefully it goes through easily and I can still get an afternoon and evening fish in. The storm, a lot of, lot of thunder, but it's in the distance for now and it seems like it's not going. It's kind of weird because this side of the island, perfect sunny day. This side of the island, dark and almost white caps. So we'll see, but everything's covered up. Uh, everything's in a position where it's gonna stay dry, so always good to be prepared. But uh, well, I'm ready to hunker down if necessary. But since we come from this direction here and you can see the rain in the distance, we had a bit of rain a second ago, but it seems to be coming from this direction here where there happens to be a lot of sun. So hopefully that's, uh, that's what's coming our way. All right, looks like we have yet another storm rolling by, getting a lot of thunder here. It's uh, about 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, seeing uh, white caps on the lake for the first time today. And about 25 minutes ago, I was out in this. Did a little fishing for about half hour, no action. Then um, the big clouds came in in the wind. So I packed her in, but it uh, looks like all clear skies uh, in the distance there. So I think I'll head back out, maybe another hour in before I cook dinner and prepare for the evening. Okay, so tonight's dinner is going to be uh, a top sirloin strip with uh, garlic mashed potatoes and asparagus. So I'm going to strip the fire here uh, about 5 o'clock. I'm hoping to eat now and then hopefully around 6 I can get back out on the water and do some more fishing. Alright, so we got the fire going pretty good here. We got the uh, asparagus and mashed potatoes on. Now time to put that steak on. Look forward to hearing this sizzle. It's a nice, nice cut of meat I got here. Straight from the butcher. Oh yeah. Alright, so everything's all set to go here. So we got our uh, top sirloin, we got some asparagus, we got the garlic mashed potatoes, it's gonna have a ginger ale, and this is the perfect meal. Sean, first fish of the evening. Not sure where it is, it doesn't feel big, it's swimming toward the boat. What we got here, looks like a little pike. He sees the boat now and he is not happy. Oh yeah, he's just a dinky, dinky little pike, eh? Oh, barely hooked him. Pike. Well, it's a baby, but it's a fish. A little small now. Baby, well, that's all right. At least we're getting something here. Back you go. All right, so settling in for the evening here. I think I'm gonna make a little bit of bannock as a little late night treat. Uh, Mushy, we can uh, cover up here. There we go. So that pan is uh, completely fireproof, so no big deal for that going on. But uh, we'll come back and we'll uh, check on this bannock here in a few minutes. Quick check in with our bannock. Seems to be doing well. Should be able to flip that very shortly. I think it's probably good to go, but uh, on one quick check here.
Oh yeah, she's cooked all the way through, so perfect. So I'm gonna have this as a snack now, I'll probably eat half now. Uh, the other half I'll wrap up in some foil here and have as a uh, snack on uh, my way home uh, tomorrow. All right, so we've come to the final morning here, day four. Uh, so time to make breakfast again. Uh, same thing, oatmeal with uh, with my coffee. Uh, and then I gotta try a few casts from shore, see if I can pick up a, a bass or a pike or whatever's lurking around. And then it's time to pack up and head home. So uh, get things started here and uh, be on my way. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice jumper here. Bigger one even behind them. Two of them. A bunch of smallies in here this morning. There we go. Nice small nice bass to start the day. You don't have to take the kayak out. It gets them right off the shore here. Ooh, there we go. That's a nice Coming like Swanath there, right off the, right off the dock. Tents right back there. There he goes. You go back, buddy. You're gonna catch more of your buddies. I saw swimming around down there. So we're on our way back, leaving the island just as I found it, and time to head her home. <laughs> 